Members of a Sioux Falls church are figuring out what's next after a fire broke out at their place of worship. First responders were called to the church around 1230 Sunday. They found smoke and flames coming out of the front door and windows. As Couple Lands Kelly Volk shows you tonight, the blaze left behind a lot of damage. St. Michael's Ethiopian Orthodox Church is a special place to Lemma Simon and his fellow members. Our kids, you know, they love this place. They come and worship with us. But this Sunday brought something unexpected. Church members say the congregation was in the basement for fellowship after service when a noise caught their attention. Like a sound of boom. The vice chairman says they moved outdoors for safety and saw fire. So when you go outside, the flames come outside. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue says no one was hurt, but if you look around, there's a lot of damage. If you go inside and see it, it's everything. The main floor suffered the brunt of the devastation, but firefighters say there's moderate smoke damage in the basement. Really unthinkable, you know, to see something like this happen to this place. Unthinkable. As members decide how to move forward with bringing the church back, they're hoping to have the community's help along the way. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. Uh, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. We are told that a GoFundMe is being set up for the church. We'll include that in this story when it becomes available. So uh, all people are out.
Michael. ራኩታ የሚገኘው ደብረ ምህረት ቅዱስ ሚካኤል ወቅድስ ድንግል ማርያም ቤተ ክርስቲያን በአሁኑ ሰዓት በከፍተኛ የእሳት አደጋ አጋጥሞታል በሚያሳዝን ሁኔታ ቤተክርስቲያኑ እየነደደ ነው የእሳት አደጋና የሲቲዩ የፖሊስ ዲፓርትመንት በስፍራው ተገኝተው እርዳታ ያደረጉ ነው እሳቱን ማጥፋት አልተቻለም እሳቱን ለማጥፋት we don't know nobody knows yeah Anybody still inside? Maybe incense something. Who, who's in charge yes. here? Is there somebody that's in charge of the church? Or... <laughs> Yakov Danilko is a Ukrainian pastor who lives and serves in Sioux Falls. He met with Dakota News Now photojournalist Dave Hauk tonight to share his story and his stance on the current situation. That story is new tonight. It's a very bad situation right now uh, because uh, people very worried. We have too many people move. It's my younger brother. He's living west of Ukraine. He has family, three sons and two girls. I have my uncle. He's living in Moscow. I have other family. They mix half family live in Ukraine, half family live in Russia. It's very terrible time. Ukrainian congregation, light to the world have called Westminster home for 13 years now. When they went through a difficulty, uh, worried about their home country in 2014, and I can remember at that time, the congregation came as a whole to pray for Ukraine. Now here it is once again, you know, eight years later, um, the congregation coming together to pray for their homeland. People who are around Putin, they not understanding. They live maybe 20 years ago, like he's have uh, imperialistic brain. He's thinking he can grab all world for him. Please stop because we don't have fighting between people and we Christian people, we like it peace for everybody. It's Bible say about that too. Many families that may be in Ukraine, an extended family or family in Russia. And so 
just hurting for the whole dynamics of what is going on and fearful uh, for loss of life, for lack of peace in their country right now.